So today we're going to answer the question that is most commonly asked at the Douglas Lee Farmers Market is, how do you make these luminaries? So Angela, walk us through a little bit about what you're doing today. So after you've melted the wax and gotten the wax up to temperature, I transfer it into a water bath that hopefully will maintain the temperature I need throughout the dipping process. So this is my mold. It's just a simple uh, water balloon that I weigh to get a certain type of uh, height and depth. And then I carefully, as I've said many times, start dipping into the hot wax. So if your discretion is advised here, this is a very dangerous process and one that you tried to teach me and I can't do it. So this is not the faint part. No, it has a lot of uh, technical issues you have to be mindful of, like waiting enough time between dips, humidity, heat, temperature in the room, uh, because it can affect the final product in a negative way or a positive way. So about how many times will you have to dip that balloon before it becomes what looks like a luminary? It varies depending on the temperature in the room and the humidity level. Average between 15 and 25 dips. Okay. You can tell I'm not doing a, a great, great job of uh, videotaping this as I'm trying to watch the dipping and I'm not really paying much attention to you, so. I prefer that. I don't particularly like being on camera. <laughs> as many people know. So I know a lot of people when we're at market, they're just amazed at these luminaries. Why do you think this is so amazing? I think it's quite miraculous that bees can produce something that you can not only make candles with, that's 100% natural, but that you can create something you can burn a candle in. The higher melting point of beeswax allows me to be able to create these. So as we tell people at the market, there's three ways in which you can burn something in a luminary. Obviously one is a bee light luminary, uh, a beeswax luminary, or I'm sorry, a beeswax tea light, but then you've added some other options. And why'd you do that? I did that mainly because there are some people that cannot have open flames, people on oxygen, people in assisted living facilities, people that want the beautiful glow of beeswax, but um, you can use a battery operated option. I offer fairy lights or a battery operated tea light. So once again, it's not just about selling a candle, it's about the burning or the candle experience for you in. Yes, it is. I'm, I'm hesitating because I'm counting as I'm dipping so I don't mess up this luminary. Um, but yes, I, I try to test all my products. I try to um, provide instructions for each individual candle on my website so that if you're new to beeswax, you can understand and become an expert and get the best burn experience. All right, well, we're going to stop the video now and we're going to come back to you a little bit later in the process, okay? All right. 